Hi, Wildcats, and welcome to another day of the Wildcat Way. Today is a special book and a new book and something a little cultural and different. We're going to read today La Princesa and the Pea by Susan Middleton Elia. And this is what it looks like. It's called La Princesa and the Pea. There once was a prince who wanted a wife but not any niña would do in his life. His madre was picky. She hoped for perfection. The prince was so lonely in need of affection. But here came a maiden en route to her castle. I hope I can stay here if it's not a hassle. She winked at the prince who fell for her fast no matter what mom says, I'll marry this lass. The prince said, come in, but his mother, La Reina, decided to test her. Would this girl be buena? Mama sneaked away to the royal jardin and found a small pea that was fit for a queen. She guarded the pea pod and took to the stair. If this girl is worthy, she'll feel that it's there. She placed El Guisante in the bed for the guest. She yelled, Bainte mattresses, lofty request. So 20 mattresses, that's Bainte. The queen settled in with her box of bombones, while lots of strong workers came in with colchones. Uno was suave, dos was pequeño, tres was muy grande, cuatro un sueño. Several were pinstriped, some made of fleece, others were dotted or checkered or grease. The queen ate her treats, the bed was stacked high, and right when they finished, la niña came by. Here is your cama, a place you can sleep. Thanks, said the girl, I won't even count sheep. Meanwhile, el principe practiced ideas. He knew that this maiden was the one he should choose. I like her, Mama, he said with a lit. We'll see, said the queen as she fluttered up his quilt. The girl stretched her brazos and yawned with her boca, but the bed felt so lumpy like there was a roca. The little guisante was twenty times deep. Could it be the reason the girl got no sleep? She trudged down to breakfast, her ojos so droopy. And how was your slumber? La Reina was snoopy. Great, said the girl. If you like hard and lumpy. Oh, pobrecita, the prince said, you're grumpy. Their guest brightened up as she noticed the lad. Really, she murmured, it wasn't that bad. I thought La Reina, how'd she detect it? Is she a real princess? I think I suspect it. She signaled her son that the girl passed the test, dropped. She had managed to stave off the rest. The prince soon proposed with a golden anillo. They married that week in the royal castillo. The queen kept her promise and threw a big boda. The bride wore a wedding gown stylish, de mola. Acepto, acepto, they both said I do. And still to this day, the queen has no clue. The prince had put pitchforks in stones in la cama to help his true love pass the test of Queen Mama. The prince and his bride had hijos galore, one for each mattress, and then had no more. The end. So again, that was La Princesa and the Pea, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's Wildcat Way. See you next time.